Hey, what up y'all? It's me, your boy, Lil D, coming at you from the den with another nursing video. And in today's video, this is part 7 of a 10-part series I am doing here on this channel where I completed my 7th class in the Nursing Informatics program at Grand Canyon University. But before we get into the video, make sure you give this video a like and subscribe. I post nursing-related videos two times a week here on this channel on Wednesdays and Sundays, so if you haven't done that, you can go ahead and do that now but like I said this is part 7 of a 10 part series that I'm doing here on this channel basically after I finish each course in the nursing informatics program I make a review about the course how it related to nursing informatics how many papers there were how they graded so if you're interested in that I'll link the rest of the videos down below but yeah let's get straight into it this video is about HCI 655 electronic health records finally now the first thing that I want to say about this class is that this is completely 100% related to nursing informatics and I know that is not the story for all the previous courses that I've reviewed. Everyone in this class, granted there was only me and probably four or five other people, but everyone in this class was going for a degree in nursing informatics. So now let's talk about the papers. So this class is eight weeks long, just like every other course, except for that final class, which is gonna be a couple months long. But this class was eight weeks long with, an, uh, with a large assignment due at the end of every week. So there were a total of eight large assignments, and I believe one of them was uh, outline. Well, and another one was actually uh, um, a diagram that you had to create only using Microsoft Word though. Now the book that we use for this class, I'm actually just going to read it off of the screen. It's Electronic Health Record and Healthcare Provider Practice. And you actually do not need the book at all to get through this course. Generally, the books that they provide you at Grand Canyon University is online, so I could access it digitally. Supposedly, they were supposed to send me this book in the mail. I don't know who coordinates that because that's never been done in one of my nursing informatics classes or even in my bachelor's classes. They've never sent me a physical book. But supposedly, somebody was supposed to send me a book to get through this class, but I never got it. But I did get through the class without it. Now, of course, you could look up the book on Google and find it for yourself and buy it. Now, I believe the book was selling as a digital copy on Google for $30. Now, I thought I would just try getting through the class without it for the first couple weeks. And as I was able to get through each week, I decided against it. As for the grading of HCI 655 electronic health records, my teacher was very lenient in it. He wasn't very strict on really anything, so I pretty much passed the class with another A. Overall, I will say so far though that this is my favorite class that I've done in the nursing informatics program just because it's so related to nursing informatics. Now, I'm sure I could have learned a lot more if I had the actual book, if they had sent it to me, but I I did use my previous books from previous classes to get me through this and I feel like I was able to get through the concepts pretty easily. That is about it for this video. Like I said, this is part 7 in a 10 part series. You can check out one of my other nursing related videos right here or I'll leave the playlist to the other videos down below. Make sure you give this video a like and subscribe and I'll talk to you guys later. Thanks. Bye.